Okay, hello, good day. This is Joy again, and tonight I'm going to uh, talk about the Utah hiring process. How long does it take? What are the processes that you need to undergo or that you need to take before you can be an official Utah teacher? Uh, I am supposed to talk about the pay, my pay, yes. And how much can you possibly earn at Utah? Yes, I am I am supposed to talk about that one in this video. However, there are really a lot of applicants who want to know about the process of Utah. So for now, I'm going to talk about the hiring process of Utah and then my next video. So just type put and don't forget to click subscribe so you will be updated in the next video that I'm going to make and post. And that is about the pay. Yes, okay, well, anyway, before I move on, uh, I would like to uh, call out the attention of Gwen Tong SPG. Yes, my lucky subscriber, Gwen Tong SPG. You can comment down your number and uh, I'm going to uh, send you the load yes as what I have promised in my previous video so you can send me or you can comment down below your phone number yeah cell phone number and any network so I can send you the load thank you so much for subscribing so next video will it anyway let's go back so hiring process of you talk okay so first one uh, okay wait let me open my YouTube channel first yeah I forgot to open okay so first one, uh, as what I've posted in my first video, yes, okay, as what I've posted in my first video, it's about the, this one, audio or self-intro audio assessment. So this one you're going to, uh, you're going to fill out, yes, you're going to fill out uh, the your information, the needed information for you to apply at Utah, and then yes, I've already talked about the requirements, the questions, or um, frequently asked questions. I've already talked about that in this my previous video. So if you haven't watched them yet, so you can uh, browse through my channel. Yes, it's here. Uh, that's M Joy. Okay. So here, uh, 10 facts about Utah, how to pass uh, the demo at Utah and first screening of Utah application. So it's here. The, uh, that's why I really made this video to help you pass the intro. Yeah, self audio intro. intro. Okay, hello. Because if you pass the first, uh, first assessment or first screening of Utah, it's like a one-step achievement to becoming a Utah teacher. Yes, because this one, if you don't pass this audio assessment, you won't be able to proceed with the interview and other processes. So first, you must pass this audio self-intro assessment. So it's here. This is to guide you how to do well in your all uh, in your um, self-intro audio assessment okay so be careful of your pronunciation and uh, i have given tips so if you want to know just browse my channel so here is first screening of utah application next one oh anyway how long does it take so if you pass let's say for example if you pass today sometimes it takes a little longer if there are lots of applicants and also in this special uh, situation that we have right now that we are right now so it takes um the shortest i guess is one 24 hours to 48 hours you'll be able to receive the call for uh the interview if you pass or if your self intro audio assessment pass or i mean if your self intro audio pass so you will be able to receive a call for the interview uh 24 to 4 48 hours but because there are really lots of applicants you have to wait for i guess oh i hate to say this but i could it could take maybe a week for you to receive a call yes and yes if let's say for example your self 
intro audio assess or self intro audio pass the pronunciation test. So you will proceed to initial interview. So they are going to email or send you a message uh, that you will be scheduled for an interview or sometimes they just call you uh, on the phone. So keep your communications uh, communication lines open so you will be able to receive the call when they call you. And uh, because if you're not or if you can't receive or if you can't uh, accept the call for the interview, you will be put on queue again. So uh, that will take um, a lot longer, yes, for you to be able to uh, be called again for the initial interview. So after that one initial interview, in my case, so I applied today and then uh, next day I was able uh, to receive a call, phone call for the initial interview. And that interview, um, I guess, uh, it took around five minutes. Yes, five minutes to have the interview. And after that, I was asked about the schedule for a demo. So if you pass the in initial interview, uh, this one. So before you have your demo, you're going to have your technical check. So be sure that uh, before applying, your uh, or the system requirements are met. Okay, the speed, the speed test, the processor. Uh, what else? The OS and the RAM. They all should be met because if not, you will definitely, um, you will definitely. Uh, disqualified is that disqualified? Yes, you will not pass the application because they are really very strict of um, checking your technical requirements. And if your system uh, didn't pass this check or technical check, yes, you won't be able to proceed. A lot has failed technical check, so be sure to. Before you apply, be sure to check your system requirements. They are very strict. Another one. So here, after your technical check, yeah, so you will have your demo recording. So also guidelines for doing your demo and how to do well on your demo is also posted in my channel. So it's here. Okay, it's here how to do well on your demo. So uh, you just have to browse it so you can have your guidelines. Okay. Okay, and another one. Sorry about that. The, oh, my dogs are barking. So after demo recording, in my case, because I was really, um, I was in urgent to know about the result of my demo recording because I have to make a very important decision. I have to choose whether I'm going to stay or uh, I'm going to uh, start again at Utah because I was still in other ESL companies, so I need to choose between that company and Utah as my home base, home base um, company. Okay, so demo recording after that one, uh, after demo recording, if your demo recording pass, um, you will be called for the job offer. So job offer, uh, that means you're going to, uh, the recruiters are going to discuss about how much will your rate be? What is your level? Uh, your level will be based on the exams you have taken and also your certificates as well as your experience. So after that, after having your job offer, uh, it's up to you if you're going to accept it or not, or if you want to negotiate more about your job offer, it's up to you. So let's say, for example, you have decided to continue. So you will have your training. You're going to choose a oh, schedule for training. They have their schedule. So you have to choose which one is more convenient for you. So training, how long does it take? OK, so training takes three days, three consecutive days uh, for three hours, three hours every day. Okay, But don't worry, because it is paid. It is paid according to your 
level and according to your rate. So let's say, for example, your rate is 160 per hour or the per uh, 50 minutes. So I considered it, I considered it uh, per hour because in that 10 minutes left, you won't be, you can't be able to, uh, or you, yes, you can be able to uh, conduct another class. So 160 pesos per hour. Uh, so that will be multiplied to three. So that will be your training, uh, training fee. Yes. Okay, so it's just like your, you have your uh, three hours of classes because you are paid. Another one, orientation. In my case, I have two days orientation. Yeah, two days orientation. That took us uh, one hour. I don't know. That was two hours every day. Two hours every day. And it is also paid based on your rate. Okay, but uh, actually it doesn't really reach up to two hours or three hours, but you are still paid with, um, let's say for example, the needed for orientation is three hours or two hours. Let's say for example, two hours. I'm not really sure right now if it's still two days or, or I mean two hours or three hours for the orientation. See, after this orientation, Okay, so you will be paid according to your level and rate. And uh, sometimes after just one hour, your orientation will be finished, but you're still paid with two hours or three hours. Okay, so orientation you'll have uh, also, you will be asked to do the demo. Uh, they're going to see if you applied what you have learned from the training and from the orientation. Another one, so let's say for example, you already pass your demo in the orientation, you will be asked to uh, submit your schedule. So I have talked about this one last time, your schedule, 25 uh, hours per week, that's the minimum. Okay, so five hours of which should be rendered on weekends. So after that, uh, if they already approve your uh, your schedule, you'll be asked to do the line check. Line check is just, uh, it will just take maybe five minutes, five minutes for you to prepare. And then the line check will just take maybe seconds, just seconds. They will ask you to call a number and then call a number. It's from China. Yes. So a Chinese assistant is going to, uh, or you're going to call the Chinese assistant then uh, they will check if your line is clear, if you're choppy or not, if they hear background noise. So after that, it's fine. Yes, it's already good. You'll have your observation period. So after you have your observation period, observation period, you are already going to teach. So you already have your schedule. You're uh, like this one. I'm going to show you. Yes, you already have your schedule and then you can now teach. Yes. This one's, oh no, I'm really sad about this one because I had my, there was a long blackout in my place. So I have to cancel these classes. I have to transfer it to other teachers. So here you already have your schedule. Anyway, my green parent, yes. But uh, I really hope it could be filled out. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so actually Sunday is my off, but I chose to go on overtime since uh, I don't have to go to church right now because of the situation that we're having. But this one, okay, so maybe on Sunday I'm going to have another overtime here. So let's see. And uh, any more questions? Okay, so after that you are already teaching and then they're going to evaluate you. Um they're going to check your classes. Yeah, so just randomly, not all of your classes, and they're going to send you an assessment of how are you doing, uh, if they have suggestions like those. Yes, and anyway, yes, yeah, so Utah also has a contract that's independent service agreement that lasts, or yes, uh, it's six months contract. So after six months, it's up to you if you're going to renew or not. 
and then it's also up to them if they're going to if they still want you in the company or not so six months contract that would be all for today yeah so last one is the job offer and you're going to teach okay so any more questions you can drop down comment or you can drop a comment and i'm going to answer whenever i can so thank you so much for watching uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe this video good night everyone